Hey guys, it's PsychoHawk here, and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. Um, today we have a quite an interesting episode. Uh, we go through some of our squad reports and stuff like that, but we do also have a few games. And we start off with a game here against Tottenham Hotspur. Um, yeah, this will be quite a long episode, about 12 minutes, 46 seconds. But before we go straight ahead, I want to give a humongous shout out um, to my boy, uh, Bazzy Wilson Designs, or on YouTube, just Bazzy Wilson's. Basically, if you go to my channel, um, be sure to do that. I'm going to put an annotation. It should be on the top right corner right now. Press that, link, uh, press that annotation. It'll open in a new window. As you guys can see, on my channel, there's a new background. Now, in my opinion, that background is pretty sexy. It is very sexy. And um, all credits of that background go to Bazzy Wilson, like I said. Amazing guy, uh, he sold me the background for 30,000 FIFA coins, uh, or Ultimate Team coins, so be sure to check his channel out, it's in the description below. Uh, I don't know, he might change the price, uh, depending on who asked him, but for me, he did it for 30,000 FIFA coins, I paid him 15k first and 15k after, really good guy, and um, just, it took him about 5 minutes to make it, and you know, a real cool lad, and a, uh, and a really sexy background as well, so uh, a huge shout out to him, be sure to check out his channel in the bottom, or it's in the description below. And now check out his videos and subscribe to him and ask him for a background if you need one or whatever. Um, but uh, anyway, we move on to this game against Stoddham and Hotspurs. And um, <clears throat> I know every time I play against them, I go on about how they're called Spurs and not Tottenham in this game. But it just frustrates the shit out of me. I mean, seriously, EA, just call them Tottenham. That's what they're called. Jesus Christ. It's so frustrating. But uh, either way, we have a chance here with Lucas as he cuts inside, takes a finesse shot with his left foot, and ooh, I actually thought that was in, but uh, dis uh, disappointingly, it just went wide. Very unlucky there by Lucas, but uh, finally in the 42nd minute, Spurs managed to catch me on the break, and uh, Emmanuel Abadayor managed to put the finish into the bottom left corner of the net <clears throat> to make the score 1-0, uh, which was quite disappointing, but uh, you know I didn't feel like I had been under under pressure or anything like I still felt as if um as if it, I had it all under control and uh, Aguero takes a good shot here before half time but uh that was half time however nothing came in the corner but uh straight ahead from kickoff I felt I smell blood after that chance with Aguero as Evra finds Nani who just cuts inside past Walker finds the space uh plays it through and look at this Holy Maloney, what a goal. Jesus, absolutely fatal finish. I had no idea how he scored that. When he scored that, I was just like, yes. In this game, there are two absolutely crazy goals. This one being one of them, but the next one even more crazy. But I mean, I don't know how that went in. Be sure to make go ahead and uh, look that back again uh, because I didn't have a replay. I don't know how it went. Uh, FIFA 12-esque finesse shot. Even in FIFA 12, that wouldn't have gone in. But look at this. I, I mean, I, I, I don't even know. I, 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 there was like nothing on for me, and I was through, but I didn't really have, you know, any proper chance to like um, take a good shot. So I was like, why not just take a shot? Maybe we'll get a corner out of it. And uh, absolutely crazy shot. Look at that. That is not cool. And I even had to go in to settings, and I guys, I, I had to show you that I was not using any sliders. Um, just because of the fact that that go it looked like I was using slider. So as you can see, we're in the 66th minute where I scored. I go into CP uh, user game customization, sorry, and uh, no sliders whatsoever. That was a clean shot, absolutely crazy. Um, I just had to show you that. I figured like after the goal that you guys would probably be saying sliders, but no, no, sir. Aguero just with an absolutely crazy finish. And um, we're into the 81st minute, and I smell blood. Uh, the Spurs defense, I don't know why, they seem tired or something, but uh, in the end of the second half, you know, I was just demolishing them as here Van Persie gets through on goal, and that uh, puts in a very, very nice um, finish into the bottom left corner to make the score 3-1 and seal the game off, which was very important because 90th minute scripting is high, my friends. Every time I'm winning by one goal, I'm in the 90th minute. I just do whatever to hold on to the ball because basically if the other team has the ball in the 90th minute and they're losing by one goal, they will score no matter what you do. And uh, then I decide to be a sweaty little bastard, um, <laughs> Van Persie playing it to Aguero, 
who puts in a finish um, into the middle of the net because that's all you have to do after you've been a sweaty cunt. Um, <laughs> or, so, uh, yeah, I don't think Spurs were very happy. I had gone from 1-0 down to 4-1 up. I was obviously enjoying myself as I smelled blood. I made I made some substitutions, you know, just to... Just to um, make time go by, bring on Pogba, Valencia, players like that. I think I brought on Royce as well, I think. No, I didn't, but uh, whatever. Either way, um, we won the game 4-1. A good game. Very good game indeed. Aguero getting man of the match there. Arsenal beating Stoke and Everton beating Norwich City. And other feature fixtures across the board on October 20th, 2013. And... Uh, I was really happy with that game. You know, I was pleased with myself that I had come back from uh, being down to uh, winning 4-1 after being 1-0 down, which was really nice. And um, now we go ahead, and now we have a little bit of uh, t league table player rating shenanigans. As you can see, we were fourth in the league, uh, two points off Liverpool, so it was not that dangerous. And then uh, Van Persie with four goals, Nani with four goals, and Aguero all with four goals um, there in the um, goals department, and then Van Persie and Aguero yeah, at the top, but here I go through my um, uh, squad report, sorry, so there, De Gea has grown by one, remember, it's this season, De Gea was 80 when I first started, and there you can see his stats have grown humongously, he's grown four in sprint speed for some reason, <coughs> which is alright, I guess, uh, and then we have Michael Richards, who hasn't grown this season yet, but he has grown in his sprint speed, and uh, also his aggression is now 90, so it's dark green, which is nice to see, Hummels has already gone up two, and he's an 89 this season, and uh, absolutely crazy. He's gone down in interceptions, which is very odd. But sliding tackles now 94 and stand tackles 94 as well, which is absolutely crazy. Hitting accuracy 96 as well. Crazy shit. Ogbonna stayed at 83 this season, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but uh, he will go up some more. Efra has obviously gone down too. He's already 32 years of age. Uh, Fellaini has stayed absolutely the same, which is fine by me. Valencia, uh, surprisingly, has actually gone up to an 86. Nani's gone up to 89, which is absolutely crazy, with 84, 94 dribbling, sorry. And now look at this, Lucas. I told you he was going to grow. He's growing like a motherfucker. Look at that, 85 now, and um, he's only 21, which is crazy. I just went back to 90 here, and uh, then we have uh, Van Persie there. Who's uh, he's already 30. He's stayed his overall the same, but he has gone down one in strength, which is understandable. He's on the top of his game, but he is already 30, so he's not going to be growing. Aguero has stayed the same, no change there, which is very surprising because he's already that high. Um, for some reason, Pogba has bad form, but uh, he has gone up to a 79. Uh, which is really nice and gone up in a lot of stats so he, soon he will cut that 80 mark and he will keep on growing like a boss because he is one. Uh, Jones has stayed at 80 but he has gone up in a few of his uh, physical stats which is really nice to see. Cleverly gone up in his technical stats which is really important. He's already gone up to 82 which is sick. He's only 24, keep in mind. Um, Munian has stayed at 83 but he still has great potential to grow. He only needs some more playing time. Um, which he will get eventually, you know. Uh, Williams has stayed the same. I, to be honest, I've been quite disappointed by Williams, but Royce has gone up as well, which is nice to 86. Welbeck stayed the same, which is, again, a little disappointing, but he hasn't been playing that much, to be fair. Luke Thompson, my absolutely crazy youth player guy, has gone up, and so uh, so has my other youth player, Chris Lillis, who's good but not as good. Will Keane, absolutely amazing growth. Look at that. I think that was growth in each stat. Uh, Raphael, even though not playing, getting... Uh, Good stats there. So has uh, Butner. Uh, Chicharito is injured, obviously. Uh, Vidic unhappy. He's not getting the playing time he wants, and he's going down his stats. He's already 34. Uh, same with Rio Ferdinand. You know, nothing he can do about that. He's retiring at the end of the season. Um, then we go back to the players on um, on uh, loan. Uh, sorry. There we have Sterling. He's gone up in his mental attributes. I want his strength to go up. It's at 49, which is really bad, actually. Joshua Kinn has gone up, but not in his overall. Uh, Fabio has gone up. He's looking a solid left back, actually, which is surprising. Uh, we also have um, Reese Brown gone up, John Coffey gone up, Sean McGinty gone up as well. But that was my squad report. And uh, we move ahead into this Valencia game. Um, but uh, before that, actually, we get an offer from Scotland Football Association asking me to manage them internationally. And, um, you know, I have that other offer from Netherlands, which I don't think I'm going to take, you know, because I, unless I get a country like Brazil or something, which I haven't got yet. And uh, I decided to reject Scotland because if I'm going to manage an international team, I want it to be a world-class international team. And, uh, 
no offense meant to uh, Scotland. If you're Scottish, then yeah, you've pro produced a great deal of uh, good football players. But, um, you know, as a modern national team, you used to be amazing. But uh, these days, you know, the Scottish national team is nothing to boast about. Um, and uh, But either way, one way or the other, we move on into this game versus Valencia in the uh, Champions League. It's going to wrap up this episode, but do stay tuned still. As um, in the 90th, 19th sorry, minute, Van Persie's being pulled back, puts in a great cross to Iker Muniain, uh, the guy who I said needs more playing time, and he gets it after a great ball by Van Persie and a quite simple finish by Muniain, even though he required good technique to volley that into the back of the net. But uh, either way, uh, great finish there. And uh, that wrapped up halftime. Um, usually these um, these games are not very eventful, so uh, it w I'm not showing a lot of highlights because I'm also trying to kind of go through the, se uh, through the season here. Um, we want to get into that January transfer window business as well. Um, but uh, we start off the second half here. And uh, in the 60th minute, Valencia get a good opportunity here. As um, jo Jonas gets the ball, plays it to Kusta, I think, and uh, just uh, kind of makes the ball go wide, in a sense, I guess. But uh, it was never really going in, but a good opportunity, nevertheless. And um, we move on. In the 80th minute, I was so scared that EA 90th minute scripting would come into play. As I uh, look at this, Hummels plays a cheeky pass to De Gea. I don't know what De Gea does, but um, that miss, uh, miss of the season, you reckon? Probably. Uh, Torres-esque miss there, but uh, either way, we managed to hold on to the lead. We beat EA and their scripting shit, and uh, we keep the 1-0 lead, which was very important, to, um, uh, which uh, was helping us. With, uh, sorry, I can't talk, but uh, anyway, it helped us to um, get to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Muniain grabbing man of the match there. Um, but yeah, it's been Psycho Horak here. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this episode. Uh, quite an eventful episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the squad report. Some crazy goals as well. So please leave a like for those goals. Um, if we could hit 15 likes again, that would be absolutely amazing. Also, be sure to check out my boy Bazzy Wilson um, in the description below. He does backgrounds for 30,000 uh, FUT coins, which is honestly not that bad. Huge shout out to him. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Press that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode of Career Mode um, because I will be feeding you this daily, or not exactly daily, but nearly daily. I try my best, guys. Uh, anyway, like I said, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And um, yeah, bye-bye.